Um, I was in a bad road cycling accident uh, due to some uh, problems with the manufacturer. The bike collapsed and I went straight down to the pavement at 25 miles an hour and hyperflexed my neck on the right side and that's what caused the dissection of the vertebral artery. I begged my wife to locate Dr. Chapman. I pleaded with her to see if she could find him to help take my case. And he made the decision at that point, uh, after the CT and MRs came back, um, to stabilize the neck in the Miami J collar. I remember Jens telling me that this was somewhat unusual for a surgeon to say this, but uh, Jamie, you don't need surgery at this time. At the time I was first admitted into inpatient rehab, I had no hand function at all. I could move my elbows, but everything was basically motionless from you know, the typical C7 level down, and it was symmetric on both sides. In the course of being, you know, through ICU and going through acute care and then ultimately being admitted into inpatient rehab, I was beginning to experience what I call sort of little victories. Uh, I think Jens had said something just a few days into my care where he just said it very succinctly. He goes, Jamie, get independent. Jamie, get independent. And... For me, those were incredibly powerful words. I remember them like they happened yesterday and nine years later, they still drive the way I have approached recovery. Uh, some of the things that have gone in that have made that recovery possible that sometimes get maybe missed in the, in the science of all of your unbelievable work and, and I, I couldn't even begin to fathom the expertise and talent and knowledge that you all have. But I, I can say from a human perspective, Things that have mattered in my recovery, I think really right at the top of the list has been um, a connection and an interest by Jens, by Barry, and other practitioners who've been involved in my care, knowing me not just as a patient, but as a person. And I'll tell you the story, and it might seem really trivial, but it's, it's it, again, I remember it like it was yesterday because it had such an impact on me. Uh, I was three weeks out from injury, I was in inpatient rehab, it was July 4th, and Jens came into the, my, uh, my room, just showed up to say hi. And uh, we ended up talking a little bit about how I was progressing and, and was very pleased with how I, was, how I was doing, and then we were talking about baseball. And we were talking about just, we were just, just talking. And I just, I can't tell you how important those kind of connections matter. I remember it and I was I was inspired by it. It lifted me up. And and I guess my 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 my, my thought is as is as you consider how you know you're looking to improve patient outcomes and so forth, how you connect with your patients on a human level matters. It matters. And I know it mattered in my case and uh, and it continues to matter to this day.